right, man. All right, man. Alexander Usyk changes his mind on fighting Deontay Water. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video. Now, Usyk is saying that um, he will now take on, uh, you know, uh, Deontay Water after he beats Tyson Fury. Now, he's saying he was going to fight Deontay Wilder next and show up to the Barclays Centers for the Hellenius fight. He was a no-show. Uh, Wilder wasn't sure if he was there or not, but he was a no-show. Uh, before that, seen an interview he sat back, put up with his manager, Ingus Klimov, in which Klimov said that uh, they were not uh, fighting Deontay Wilder next. So they, you know, pretty much saying on boxing scene, he was saying that they fighting Tyson Fury next and Tyson Fury going around saying that he only need two weeks to fight. Uh, they're trying to beat Alexander Usyk. He had blown up middleweight and that Chizor is just as tough as him and, and all this, that, and the third. So, you know, so he changed the story, which to me didn't make no sense for him to fight Water before Fury, right? Um, but he put his foot in his mouth. Now, he could have turned around and said, no, nah, I ain't say that shit or whatever. It was in broken English or mistranslation. But he still wants to commit to fighting Deontay Wilder. Um, and cool. 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 So, I mean, Wilder get a crack at Undisputed as long as he keep winning. But it's a reason why Usyk wants to fight Deontay Wilder. Usyk, and I said this in my other video, Usyk wants to get the endearment that the Klitschko's never got. Usyk and Lomachenko ain't got. And not too many Europeans have ever got in America. He wants to be the biggest. He want to be at least recognized as one of the biggest European fighters of all time in America. And that's hard to do. You know, Anthony Joshua could have easily done it had he come over and fought in America. Anthony Joshua could, could have done that. No, but he ain't had a heart to come over here and do it, train over here and do it and all that. Then he turned around and tell the fighters in the UK that y'all need to come over to America and start training and stuff and sparring is better and that and third. Man, like I continue to say, bro, um, he had the opportunity to be a crossover star in both. Amir Khan was probably one of the closest examples in modern history. Good ticket puller over here, great ticket puller over in the UK. You know, but yeah, Usyk said he. You know, Usyk. Try, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get on that pedestal in America. And without Wilder, it ain't, it ain't no pedestal. And that's what Anthony Joshua never capitalized on. That's how you know Fury was able to re revive his career. You know, imagine if Joshua would beat Wilder in America, dude. Man, Joshua wouldn't be fighting the UK too often. Trust me. Uzi said he wants to fight Deontay Wilder if he takes care of Tyson Fury early in 2023. It was originally believed that the WWE World Champion, heavyweight champion, Uzi, 20 and 0, 13 KOs, will fight Canelo Alvarez and successfully defeats Fury because he wants to fight a popular, uh, pop, popular Mexican star. Uzi now set, uh, wants to fight former WC heavyweight champion, 43, 2 and 1, 42 KOs after his sensational first round knockout of Robert Lance in his comeback fight on October 15th. There would be a lot of interest from the boxing world in Usyk and Wilder fight. The main problem with putting Usyk and Wilder fight together is uh, that there will be huge pressure on Usyk to get Fury a rematch if he beats him. Man, fuck that. I beat him, man. I dropped the belt. Here you go. <laughs> Fans would want to see a second. Maybe they would. I don't think it's going to be a scintillating fight, neither. You know, not to the naked fan view, to you know, purists and hardcore boxing fans it will be. Moreover, it's, re it's quite reasonable to assume that Fury... Uh, Help promote Bob Barron with top rank will insert a rematch clause in the contract with Usyk will force him to get tight for a second beat rematch. You need to feel so. Tyson Fury, a person who drinks and you know, whatever. After I get rid of Tyson Fury, we're going to talk to Deontay Wilder. He didn't want to fight for long, so long. He was out the ring, taking time, relaxing, spending time with his family, said Usyk manager Alex uh, Karusk, CS News. When asked if Fury hasn't already fought, why Fury hasn't already fought Usy? Quote, he Fury didn't take the, the first chance a year ago, so now he he says, I offered him a fight. They offer came from the Saudis, which we committed with. 
with Fury was already offered to fight for undisputed. Dillian White was ready to step aside. Anthony Josh was ready to step aside. Everything was done to make it. Usyk versus Fury last February. I can't say he was scared, but I heard the rumors that he got the advice not to step in that early against Usyk. Usyk is a man of skills. He's not a man of power. He's a He has power, but it's not the main asset. Boxing IQ and speed skills. Absolutely said his manager out of Karras when asked if Usyk and Deontay Wilder. And there's no difference in weight. They're the same weight, guys. The speed is going to be the same. So um, there you have it. So apparently they really do want to fight Deontay Wilder, but they want they want that crossover to America. America, and they get past Fury and Wilder. I ain't gonna say shit. You want to go down and still fight Canelo Alvarez? Be my guest. He's like Floyd Mayweather doing exhibitions. You just playing with house money. That's all it is. You just playing with house money. That's how I look at it. You just you just playing with house money. That's on that's how I look at it. you just literally playing with house money. That's it. You literally playing with house money. So, you know, he about to make enough money off these dudes to retire for good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I ain't mad, bro. Y'all ain't mad at him. But to me, it never made no no sense to go ahead and fight Crawford, fight uh, or Wilder, then fight Fury. No, go ahead and get Fury out the way. But we might not make it that far. Most people think Usyk ain't got a chance. And why most people don't get Usyk a chance. So, am I wrong? So a lot of people don't even think we gonna make it that far at all. <laughs> So, but, you know, I ain't mad at it, but he want that crossover money. He want that crossover money. I know exactly what he looking for. You know, big pay-per-view stage in America. You can't get that nowhere else in America with nobody else. So, I know exactly. And he said he ain't going to be in this for too much longer. And he right, they both the same size, and that's what scared people for Uzi. It can happen. Fury, Uzi could be Fury, and Wilder could be Uzi. Styles make fights. Excuse me, Styles make fights. Styles make fights. You know, everybody, oh, he beat him, he beat that shit. Don't matter. Styles make fights, but. If he could take water punch, man, who's like a bad motherfucking dude? I mean, he might avoid water punch. You know, Fury couldn't though, but I think Usyk is a little bit more, it got a little bit more sorcery with his uh with his defense. He's a little bit more flash, a little bit more, you know, Fury, Fury kind of getting by with his height and you know, going behind the shoulder and leaning back. Usyk get a little bit more, you know. Physical and IQ. I mean, I don't want to say IQ. They both got high IQ. They both got high IQ. But Uzi is just a little bit more flashy. You see what I'm saying? A little bit more weave, a little bit more, you know, catch and shoot. Ooh, Fury, a lot, a lot of Fury uh, attributes come from his direct advantage physically. His height, you know, but uh, well, yeah, I mean, shit, it is what it is. Fury say, uh, Usa, say, I'm a man of my word, but you know, he quite the weight. <laughs> and water gotta respect that dude, let that man get the crack. And if he be Fury, dude, it'd be uh. It'll be it'll be one of the, it'll be it'll be one from the history books. It'll be one for the history books for sure. It'll be one for the history books. So but that's pretty much it, man. But uh if y'all was wondering where uh 
And I was wondering where, you know, Uzi, you know, where he was at or where he stand at. You got to understand, too, a lot of them dudes don't make their own decisions. It's a team decision. And when you go, when you go around here and say, uh, when you go around here and say that, uh, When you go around here and say what you want to do, your team probably call you like, man, we ain't doing that shit. You tripping. You know how much these Saudis want to pay us? So that's something to think about as well, too. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the Heavyweight Boxing Talk playlist out. Um, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Boxing News playlist. Uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. All my information is inside the link tree. Link tree, the first link in the description. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Y'all know the business is. Good for the TV. Peace.